Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we're going to be featuring Jadavion Clowney at the middle linebacker spot as our user. Uh, now, if you guys have watched the past few gameplay videos, you guys know already that I have been using Clowney since his day, since the day he dropped. Uh, we did a gameplay on the very first uh, day he was released. We did the gameplay on him, but I did not user him. I just put him on the edge. I had him rushing. So today we're going to see how well he plays usering. Uh, like I said, we have been usering him ever since the day he dropped. I just did that gameplay before I even knew how good he was of a user, he, how good of a user he was. So let's go ahead and hop into the lineup. Check him out. Uh, you guys have probably already seen his stats already. Uh, but on a Titans theme team, uh, max 50 out of 50 Titans theme team and 45 out of 50 lockdown, let's go ahead and check out uh, what he's looking at. Now, I do have him outside linebacker. That's because, you know, chemistries and stuff like that. I'll, I'll sub him in at middle linebacker, and then I'll put Sam Mills at outside linebacker. That way he can drop back in zone because I like Sam Mills in zone. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and check out Clowney. Before, before we check out Clowney, Gut Fox just made a video. Maybe by the time you guys see this, it's probably going to be like two, three hours uh, that it's been out. Um, there is a, we already have two confirmed golden tickets. One's Brandon Ayuk and one is, um, uh, Grant Delpit. I like Delpit a lot. He's going to be very good. But, uh, besides the point, Gun Fox uploaded a video probably about two hours, three hours ago by the time you guys see this. Um, and it's one of his subscribers that is, is trying to figure out what golden ticket to make. Um, he's, Atlanta, he's he is an Atlanta Falcon fan. Uh, so probably going to be a little biased towards Falcons players, but he also mentioned Carl Banks, strong safety, Jim Thorpe, cornerback. So maybe he's looking out to help out the community more than, um, himself as a Falcon fan. But he did also mention some names that have played for the Falcons. Um, and one of them was Vic Beasley, which I think would be an absolute, a great golden ticket to make. Cause I did go ahead and look at his 84 overall team builder card, which he dropped at the very beginning of the year. Um, he would easily get to 99 speed, in my opinion, um, as a golden ticket. Uh, he would also play great with Clowney. So if you guys do not mind, go ahead and go over to Gut Fox's channel. It should probably be the last video he uploaded. Um, and, and I did comment Vic Beasley. He said he was going to look at the comments and see what the you know the the community was you know wanting the most. So I did go ahead and comment. Vic Beasley with a couple eye emojis. If you guys can go and like that comment, I believe it has like six, seven likes right now. Uh, so if you guys could like that comment for me, that would help me out tremendously and help us out tremendously and, and maybe securing us a Vic Beasley golden ticket. There are some other comments down through there that also mention Vic Beasley, so you could probably like those too, but I kind of just want to um, make sure he sees those Vic Beasley comments and, and gives it you know, a little bit more thought. Uh, into making that card because I think that would be a phenomenal card to pair with Jadavion Clowney uh, and also Javon Curse, Sam Mills. I'm telling you, if we can get that, if we can get that Vic Beasley golden ticket, that would be insane. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out Jadavion Clowney. Sorry, I went off topic there a little bit, but I thought that was kind of important for us. Uh, you know, maybe end up getting a Vic Beasley golden ticket. I think that'd be phenomenal. But here is Jadavion Clowney. Gonna go through his stats quickly because we already had checked him out before. 97 speed, 99 excel, 94 strength, 99 tackling, 99 play rec, 98 block shed, 99 power uh, move, and 99 finesse move. So I do feel so bad for him having such good block shed, power move, and finesse move, but you just can't. You can't not use her, this guy. You have to use him. He's 6'5, 255. He's going to be able to bring down the big backs, Derrick Henry. Um, if A.J. Dillon gets a golden ticket, that, that card would be insane. Uh, but, you know, Derrick Henry, uh, the big guy from Atlanta, um, I forgot. He got that team diamond. Um, but those type big, big, big running backs, Javion Clowney is going to be able to bring them down with that big of a frame at 255. Uh, so that's the other good thing about him. Um, his uh, change direction is 83, which you can, you can feel a little bit of a difference there between him and Sam Mills. He does feel a little bit slower, you know, cutting back and forth uh, through the field. But again, that frame at 6'5", you're going to have 7 inches on Sam Mills, which I think is, is you know, better than plus 3 change of direction that Sam Mills has on Clowney. So I think 7 inches is, is way more important on Clowney than it is, uh, you know, having three more change, change of direction on Sam Mills. So, uh, again, that 6'5 frame is insane. 
uh, for a guy that you can use your 99 impact, impact blocking there uh, to go along with 86 zone and 70 man. Again, once I get that 50 out of 50 lockdown, he got up to 71 man, which is not going to make much of a difference, but the zone coverage is pretty nice there. Uh, but yeah, guys, with that being said, Genevion Clowney, let's see how he plays today. Let's see if we can get one pick, maybe even two. Let's see what we can do today. All right, guys, hopping into this one. There's our top three. We got Steve McNair, Sam Mills, and Andre Johnson. Also, uh, his top three looks like sort of Seattle, C uh, Seattle Seahawks team team there with Dak. I think that was Braylon Edwards, was it? And then Tyler Lockett. So let's go ahead. Let's see how we can play today uh, with Clowney. Oh, you know, usering him. Uh, hopefully, we can, like I said, hopefully we can get one or two picks with him. Uh, but we are starting out on offense, so I'll catch you guys on the defensive drive. And the base keeps running, running, and running. Good block. Running, Eddie running, off to the races. Go, baby. That's going to be a touchdown. Titans actually look like he got Clowney there uh, trying to chase me down. But we'll take that. What was that? How many yards was that? We were at midfield, it looked like. So maybe, maybe 50 or so yards there. But, yeah, we will definitely take that touchdown, Eddie George. Uh, that was the Eddie George drive there. Run, 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 run. Finally broke one. Scored a touchdown for us. We got the GOAT. Steven Guskowski out here to attempt the extra point. If he can go ahead and choose a field goal block. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we got Gokowski out here. Man, it's so satisfying having a focus kicker. I think I said that about three times already. But, like, I, I mean, using Greg Joseph all year, it hadn't been too fun. So finally getting that focus kicker is, is, is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys. So we have Clowney there. At inside linebacker, and you guys see I have Curtis rushing on the left side, and I've got Sam Mills drop back in the curl fly there on the right. So honestly, this fits my scheme perfect because I finally get to use Sam Mills back into a zone, uh, and he's at the sideline there. Maybe not. He does. Lockett's got it, and he's going to be gone. Oh my, what a first play bomb. I thought we were going to have enough speed to get there with, I believe, that was Logan Ryan, but clearly not in... First play, absolute bomb by Dak. Yeah, I mean, I think it was Malcolm Butler, actually. Yeah, it was Malcolm Butler. Still, 98 speed should have gotten to there, but, man, tough first play there. All right, 7-7 seven, seven game, one play score for him. One play, 77 yards. That's tough, but we get ball right back. Uh, we got to score. We got to give ourselves a little bit of cushion because he does get ball back at half. And the base keeps running. Good block. Running, and Good running, block. Running, the the Red Sea opens up in parts. Eddie, touchdown. Beautiful blocking. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Eddie George. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and kick this extra point. What a run again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. Gokowski on the kick the extra point. What a run. I felt like we were about to get tackled for a three-yard loss, but he turned it into a touchdown. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and shade outside. Let's put Clowney in a blitz. That way we can use him a little bit better. There comes Clowney down here, downhill making the tackle on Edron James. All right. Once again, don't want Sam Mills rushing. I want him dropped back into a zone. Let's see what we can do here. Can Curse get loose? Again, his his O-line uh, doesn't have any ability, so Curse should get home maybe once or twice this game, I would hope. Uh, let's drop back. He's going to have an open end. What did I just say? What did I just say? He should get home maybe once or twice, and Curse gets home there. All right. I guess I just need to speak it into existence, and Clowney just gets home there for a sack, and it's third and 18. Let's shade to the outside, actually. Uh, prevent any of those cover three beaters. Um, just got to watch out for anything along the sideline, and I didn't run with him. And is he going to have that? No, he's not. Okay, if he threw that on target, I think that could have been Sam Mills' ball there, but it's going to be fourth and 18. Let's see what he decides to do here. If he goes for it, okay, he's going to decide to punt the ball here, which is very, very smart. He gets the ball back at half. If he can just stop me, that's the question. Can he stop the run game? Uh, but if he can hold me to, you know, only a seven-point lead into halftime, I think he's A-OK -okay because he gets the ball back at half. He could score that drive. Uh, and we're going to have a chance to return it here with Barry as we're going to cut back Barry up to around the 33-yard line. Okay, we'll take it. And the base keeps running, running, oh. and running, running. Eddie again! Eddie again! Let's go! Eddie George, three first-half touchdown, and he's out of there! 
Bye-bye, Eddie George. Three first-half touchdowns, and what a game for Eddie George. That is insane. Eddie George with a phenomenal game. Hey, guys. I mean, I don't know what to say other than Eddie freaking George, man. What a game for Eddie George. Three first-half touchdowns, making the dude quit. But again, still didn't get what I wanted out of Clowney this game. But like I said, defense was played very, very well, uh, Curse got a sack. Um, defense was just all over the place today. Um, we uh, forced him, you know, punting the ball there. Big sack by Curse. Um, and pretty much that was it. Eddie George, three touchdowns, really sealed the deal for him. He quit before he, he uh, Eddie even got the end zone there. So, yeah. But I still think Clowney's uh, the best user in the game right now, no doubt about it, uh, because he gets that deflator, enforcer, and lurker for 4 AP. Just can't get much better than that. Um, so, yeah. That is going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all.